Hi, I'm Chefin from Bangkok. Bonjour, I'm Victor from Paris. Hi, it's Raul from Sao Paulo, Brazil. And we are curious about food, the way it looks. How it tastes. We are curious about the ingredients. Where they come from, how they're made. We are curious about the impact of the meals we make on our families, communities and our planet. Come along! Food needs to be for me an act of love, you know, like, okay, this is uh, what I give you because I want to, you to feel good. Brittany is a very strong uh, region for pork. But lately, I've been hearing some worrying things. People going to the beaches and dying. Animals dying too because of something called green tide. Green tide happens because of the nitrate levels into the rivers. The nitrate levels are so high in Brittany uh, because of industrial livestock, because of too much livestock in this specific area. So basically, it's all about the animal shit, the manure. <laughs> because of the poop. Let's go. Cooking for me is passion. My husband from Canada, his name is Andrew, and my son is Noah. We are foodies. Mm. I can't imagine Thai cooking without chicken because like it's in all like traditional dishes. I read that they did some sample of the chicken in supermarkets and found antibiotics in almost half of them. Antibiotics left over in the meat actually is just a tip of the iceberg. The big issue is how much it has been used while raising the animals for your meat. When them start to cooking and start to play music in my head. It's my way, it's my path, it's me. Incêndios na Amazônia que tensão do mundo todo. I think the past two months I didn't have I didn't sleep well. Like everyone, I have been watching pictures of the Amazon burn. I want to find out what was really going on there. The Amazon forest is the reservoir for 190 gigatons of carbon. And if you cut down the forest, the carbon goes to, to the atmosphere, aggravating the already serious issue of global warming. AMR is an acronym. It's short from the word antimicrobial resistance. Superbugs, right? Yes. So the world authorities are really worried about AMR bacteria. If we don't do anything, it is projected that within 2050, 10 million will die because of the AMR. They just got a goosebump. And if they use that antibiotics in animals a lot, it can induce the bacteria to resistant to the same antibiotics that we are using nowadays. Okay, that's scary. We're about to find out more about this and I'm into it. Now I'm going to Brittany. It's a place I used to go on holidays as a kid. The more I read about green tides, the weirder it gets. Vincent was riding along a beach in Brittany. His horse got stuck in algae washed up by the sea. Moi j'avais de la de la vase jusque quasiment jusqu'à la poitrine. Euh, jusqu'au thorax et mon cheval, euh, ben, les deux, les jambes avant, les jambes arrière. Vincent passed out. He was rescued by firefighters. The horse died. It's just, just insane. So I, I'm really looking forward to know a bit more about what's going on over there. Pierre, the doctor, stopped authorities from burning the body of Vincent's horse, and he ordered an examination. Mon but c'était de déterminer que euh, l'accident de Vincent Petit et celui de son cheval était lié à l'hydrogène sulfuré, lié aux algues vertes. It revealed that the cause of death was gas from rooting algae. And if it could kill a horse, it could kill a man. So today I had a chat with Greenpeace team and it's quite shocking that they found 
E. coli bacteria and also a mar bacteria in the meat. We took uh, the sampling from four provinces. Most of the sampling got uh, E. coli, which is a kind of bacteria and also some of the AMR version of E. coli. I want to know what these bacteria come from. The bacteria E. coli and the AMR version of E. coli, it can come from many various sources. The more we use antibiotics, it will go to the environment, it will go into the water, it will go to the soil, it comes back to us in, in nearly every form. Eating meat with AMR bacteria contamination can lead into unhealthy consequences. If you cook meat properly, most of the bacteria will die. But some genes might survive in, on, the, on the cooked meat, and that also increases the chance that the superbugs will infect us. Are children more vulnerable for AMR bacteria? They are more vulnerable, they are smaller, and if they get infected, if it's go to the blood, go to their brain, go to their new, to lung infection, cause pneumonia, they have a higher chance to get bad outcome. The roots are not deep. Just take a look. I have a baby boy, Monir, Francisco. Ah, he's very lovely and he's growing so fast. We are the last generation that really can make difference for the generations that are coming. Each minute, three football pitches are destroyed in Amazon. But who's to blame? Cattle ranching is the main reason of deforestation in the Amazon. I'm a little scared, I'm anxious, I'm excited. Seeing it from above, you can have the, this full notion of what's happening. It's way more serious than I was like. I didn't have a notion of how big it was, how many farms there were. It's like a wound. I am going to pay my respects to Jack Tell. J'avais été interpellé par le euh, un accident qui s'était produit, c'était un, un jogger sportif, 26 ans. Randomly when he fell on a green algae on the beach, uh, he died. Et quand ils ont ouvert la housse, euh, c'était irrespirable, uh, irrespirable, pas possible pour moi de déterminer la cause du décès. It was mystery. No one was able to uh, make the connection between the algae and this jogger. Uh, before uh, Vincent's accident and his horse dying. Hopefully uh, we we'll try to make some things change and that uh, it will never happen again. I want to see for myself what's going on. Tudo é pecuária. Do nosso lado aqui é pecuária, do outro lado é pecuária, na, no fundo do rio para lá tudo é pecuária. Os vizinhos colocavam fogo, né? Lá o, o fogo passava para dentro da reserva, né? Fogo ia andando, fogo ia andando, fogo ia andando, sei que passou três meses esse fogo. Três meses? Três meses. Queimando direto? Queimando tudo, 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 tudo aqui. He takes me to the side of a forest mud lake where they used to hunt animals. Deer, pigs. Now there is no forest, no lake. They had this huge water supply, natural water supply. Now we have to wait for the water supply coming from the city. Eles derrubam lá, aí a, o garapé corre para dentro da área, aí traz, né? A, a, cega o, a, o garapé, né? So now we're heading outside of Bangkok. We're we going to see AMR patients. It's actually a young boy, and we're about to meet him. So the boy, his name is Natmo, and now he's nine years old. And when he was seven, he got sick by AMR bacteria, and it almost got him killed. The antibiotic that normally used for this cure cannot help him. Your child might 
die, you know, and then you cannot help them, help him. It's just like, it's just horrible. We can suffer or die from something that's usually treatable. It's true, and it did scary. Terry was um, a seaweed collector, and he was found dead in 2009. Bah, sa tête est tombée sur le côté. Et c'est là qu'il a dit, le gendarme, « Tiens bon, petit, tiens bon. » Malheureusement, euh, des minutes après, mmh. il était mort. Et voilà comment ça s'est passé, l'histoire de notre fils, avec cette putain d'algue verte. Solange take us for a walk up to a patch of castanha trees. Brazil nuts. Now, <laughs> in the middle of the forest, this is the real jungle, we can say it. Oh my god. Yeah. São grandes indústrias, agronegócio entrando dentro dela, transformar ela de descaracterizando ela do que ela é, que é originária dela, que é isso. É triste. É Ah, eu não gosto. Eu não gosto de falar. Sinceramente. Porque assim, Quando a gente fala de uma morte, não é bom. Não, a floresta pra gente é isso. Ela é vida, ela é nós. I heard you have a uh, shy, right? right? If you give birth by having cesarean section, if you don't have antibiotics, mm. maybe the day you give birth to your son might be the same day that you pass away as well. With Superbox, they can hand over their resistance to other bacteria so they can fight off modern medicine. They actually have a structure uh, that they can actually transmit the gene to their friend, mm. to their friend, just like airdrop. They're able to incorporate that segment of gene, even from the dead bacteria, into their own DNA so that they become resistant. When you really, really need antibiotics for treatment, it might not work for you anymore. André Olivo has been campaigning long and hard against green tide since they started plaguing the beach below his house. André recommends gas mask just in case. Over the last 10 years, animals have been dropping dead there. Two dogs in 2008 and in 2011, 36 boars and a second jogger who died in 2016. Et puis il a voulu sortir là-bas mais il s'est envasé comme dans le trou de merde qu'il y a là et c'est là qu'il s'est asphyxié qu'il en est mort. People are concerned about whether all these deaths are linked with the green tide. What, what scares me the most about this story is like you are having one of the most common activity in the world you know just running on the beach and you could die. Can this be from green tide? It's a scary prospect. I head out with Renato and his family to check on the nut trees. Tá perigoso o negócio lá. Pra ela já tá muito perigoso. Não só pra castanha, mas pra vocês também, né? É, fui pra nós. It's more complicated than cattle ranchers just working up the Amazon cutting down trees. Other groups do the dirt to work. Land grabbers or green legals as they call them. Ele invade. É, ele tem essa expectativa de se tornar dono da terra mais para frente, mas ele precisa demonstrar a posse. Então ele vai é, retirar a madeira, vai vender a madeira, vai ganhar dinheiro com isso. E ele vai colocar gado. The land grabbers often bring pistoleiros. Armed men who chase people off their land. É lá onde nós tira, é onde já tá já. Nossa parte já ficou quase toda por dentro do campo de arroz. They think they might be some grilegos, so I think it's safer for me. It's safe choice for me staying here. Basically, the cattle ranchers then they just they are just taking just they are just taking their land. Ninety percent of Brazilian doesn't get the link. The meat they are eating makes 
so much impact on the environment. We are heading to a chicken farm five hours northeast of Bangkok. We kind of know that this chicken farm is using antibiotics. We are spreading the whole world with antibiotic resistant bacteria. Farms is one of the places that use a lot of antibiotics and that's not good. We have to like clean ourselves with sanitizer in order that they make sure that we not like give any disease to the chicken and make them sick. It's quite ironic, huh? them like live their life like this but you can see if like even like just one chicken contracts some disease it can pass on to their friends now I see I understand and now I'm so sorry now I'm so overwhelmed by everything maybe we just get it done and get it out of here We are on the road to see André Sergent. He is an industrial pig farmer but also head of the region's farmer union. André shows us around. Ok, ok. Bon. For me, seeing the quality of life of these pigs is quite upsetting. Il y a eu des décès. Euh, liés, aux, liés aux algues vertes, que les agriculteurs se sont sentis responsables à la suite, à la suite de ces décès. C'est sûr que c'est regrettable quand on parle d'un décès euh, a priori lié aux algues vertes. Là, euh, on ne se sent pas à nous directement concernés. Je ne veux pas nier le problème. Vous, vous pensez, ouais, ça que je ne veux pas nier le problème. Parce qu'il existe Par en contre, soi, il est, Voilà, il est, je ne veux pas nier le problème. Par contre, à entendre certains médias, on pourrait imaginer que toute la Bretagne est verte. This is how the green tide look in mid-summer 2019. A bumper crop. While we were editing this story, there were two more deaths reported to be linked to the green tide. A German tourist and an 18 years old oyster harvester. Five in the morning. <laughs> yeah! It's not all this here. All this here. This young force used to be an airport from the Cairo Ranchers. It was very agradable when I came here. This was a camp, there was no fruit, there was nothing of fruit. Sukilak in his community are planting the forest back with fruits and nut trees. You don't see that we are rich, you see that we are poor, but we are rich because of abundance, we are not rich with an airplane, with a car, with these things. Our culture is to take care of the forest, to take care of the forest, to take care of the forest, to live in harmony with the forest. In the jungle, there is not only trees and animals, and there are really good people, hardworking people. They just made a new friend, a new ally. You ready? Here. For you. They give antibiotics to the chicken, like you know, just to prevent them from getting sick, even though they are not sick. So maybe the right way or the best way to avoid it is to this. You know, choose something else. I just checked my cooking of vegetables. Well, I'm now pretty sure that we need to change our diet. It won't work if we do it just in France. The change has to be global. We do have to eat less meat, and if we do eat meat, we have to make sure that the meat we produce is made in a better way. After all I have learned from over the past week, I decided I can live with this. I can eat less meat. Tastes delicious. Cattle meat, I'm not having cattle meat. Yeah, definitely I'm a different person. AMR bacteria, antibiotics, you know, like we don't really need those things in our life. It's the perfect representation of an iceberg in a way. The tip of the iceberg is the, the, the green tide, but the lower is actually the whole system we are living in. If we don't want to take that iceberg in, in our face, we need to change drastically and quickly.
shall we go home, see my boy, see my wife? Yeah. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye. Bye bye.